Just a moment ago, we had the latest crop of the South Carolina <laughs> Strawberry page, uh, Strawberry Festival pageant winners. And right now, we're going to talk all things South Carolina Strawberry Festival with one sweet berry, <laughs> Jacana Hester. Good morning to you, Jacana. Good morning. Good morning. They need to Welcome. give you an honorary crown, Jacana. <laughs> And a sash. Yeah. <laughs> this is Strawberry Festival. We'll, we'll work on that for, ne- for next year for you. Um, but Jakana uh, swings by the microphones once a month to kind of run down all kind of events that are happening in the town of Fort Mill, as well as what's coming down the pipeline. But, boy, right now it's everything South Carolina Strawberry Festival related. Yes, definitely. <laughs> um, I know you had the History Museum on yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um but they do still have a few tickets left for this weekend's uh, Strawberry Soiree. Um, and that's just a fun evening of um, just music and food, a live auction. Um, so just get online and get those final tickets to help the museum raise lots of money. Um, and then um, the next weekend, we're going to have the Strawberry Jam on Friday evening. It's going to be 5 to 9 p.m. on Main Street. We'll have vendors, food trucks, our downtown merchants. Um, We'll have music. We'll have a stage on Main Street. Uh, So that's just a fun evening for the community to come out. A little bit smaller event than the festival. (laughs) Um, And then the next morning is the Strawberry Sprint and Stroll 5K and Fun Run, which you participate in, and we appreciate that. (laughs) Um, And then that afternoon, um, we'll be having Barry's Bash at the Fort Mill History Museum. We're going to be celebrating because it's the 15th anniversary. Uh, So we're going to have some fun Sweet strawberry sweets will be given away um, to celebrate with Barry. And, of course, he'll be there taking pictures with everybody. And um, we'll have uh, lots of giveaways. The History Museum is going to be doing storytelling and other fun things um, during that. And then we also have the History Museum will be doing their strawberry scavenger hunt um, around downtown that day from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And you just stop at the museum, get your um, hunt, travel around downtown with the clues, and then bring it back to the museum, and they will um, enter you for a chance to win prizes. And then next Sunday uh, after that, the 28th, is our Strawberry Festival brunch at the Ann Springs Closed Greenway Gateway Canteen. And I know there's tickets still available for that as well, so get online and get those tickets. Um, And also for the 5K, I want to say there are still registrations available for that as well. Yesterday, I looked, there was like 500 runners. Wow. Uh, So that's exciting. That's great. (laughs) It is great. there's still room for more for that, so um, get online and register for that as well. And then we'll have our golf tournament on the 30th, uh, which, of course, is already full. um, But that's just a great day uh, for golf at the Springfield Golf Club in Fort Mill. And then we roll around to the actual Actual day of the festival festival on Saturday. (laughs) That already seems jam-packed, but whoo. So on Saturday, May the 4th at Walter Elijah Park from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., Anything you can think of when it comes to a festival, you'll be able to find it there. That's exactly right. Uh, you know, we have food, music, uh, lots of strawberry food. We have the Show Me Swine Racers this year. We're going to be racing pigs. Uh, they'll be doing uh, four different races throughout the day, and they actually race for sugar cookies. <laughs> oh. that'll, that'll be fun. That's funny. <laughs> and then uh, the um, we have Pretty Bird Paradise, which is exotic birds. Um, you get to look at those and feed them. Um, but it's just a fun day. Uh, lots of roving entertainment. And because it is May the 4th, Star Wars Day, there's even going to be some Star Wars action oh. going on out there. <laughs> <laughs> so be on the lookout for that. Um, but it is just slam-packed with lots of music and um, on the amphitheater stage throughout the day. And just lots of fun. And uh, we just ask everybody to go to scstrawberryfestival.com just to find all the parking information. That's very important um, that people check that out before the event. And let's talk about parking. So it's $10 for public parking. And this is parking off lot or off venue there at Walter Elijah Park and shuttling them in. Right. It's a hard word to say. All three of our high schools will be um, public parking with shuttles. Those are those will be the only places that we do have shuttles and all of our handicap parking will be at the high schools as well with handicap shuttles. Um, Any of the lots around downtown um, that are on the festival website those um, are all walking lots, um, but you can go online and you can see the distance it is to walk per lot 
Um, none of them are over no. 0.6 that's, of a mile. It's so most of the churches. So I know churches, Fort Mill Church yeah. of God, mm-hmm. uh, First, Baptist, First Baptist, and I see St. on here St. John's, St. John's, and then the Church of the Nazarene parking lot as well. Yes, and so, Sisk Memorial, and, and Sisk, the yes. Ann Springs Closed Greenway, um, their horse pasture lot. Oh, that's right great. There on North White. So just know if you park in those locations, you're going to walk there to the festival. If you park at the three high schools, Nation Ford, Fort Mill, Catawba Ridge, you're going to do a shuttle to the festival right they'll, exactly. they'll, they're going to shuttle you you don't have to shuttle yourself right. <laughs> you just <laughs> plop down and say take me there for sure um yeah there's so many events to run through we will be here for another hour listing them all so that's why check out scstrawberryfestival.com and of course lots of strawberries exactly from springs. Springs oh yeah Farm. i mean i mean we're actually coming back next week ron edwards and i so <laughs> we will be bringing some yes, of those you delicious can't you can't beat up like my kids we were on our way to the beach and we stopped at another strawberry farm and we got some and my chapman was like these aren't the same. These, these just aren't. He goes, when are they coming? Because you brought some home last time. And I said, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. So, but we'll go by and get some too. But you just, you cannot beat. You can't beat mm-hmm. them. Like, there's just, they don't taste they're like that anywhere right. else. They don't. They are so sweet and delicious. And huge. And huge. huge. They are yes. big. Yes. Yep. Man. Uh, we're, of course, we're talking with, uh, speaking with Jacana Hester. She's with the town of Fort Mill. They have their big South Carolina Strawberry Festival fast approaching. It's really underway now. So check out scstrawberryfestival.com to plan your days in the next couple of uh, weeks, <laughs> really. Um, it's hard to believe, Jacana, that the South Carolina Strawberry Festival is celebrating 15 years. I mean, Barry B. Good is now a teenager. <laughs> he could drive. Right. Yeah, pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> He can get his permit. That <laughs> That's good. Maybe next year have him going to the, the DMV. Parade. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, but I remember when the switch to the South Carolina Strawberry Festival, and when it did, it really just took off um, and really has grown over the years. What do you think has been part of that success? Like what was the, the change there 15 years ago where, like, you know, the festival you did have was great, but it didn't attract all this that you have now? Well, town staff um, back in that time, Ron Edwards tells the story better than anyone, but they um, decided that they wanted to bring a festival um, to our community. Um, And so they came up with the strawberry and they reached out to Ron at Springs and um, they decided to do this together. Um, And um, just with the grace of our community, um, it's just You know, everyone is so community-minded and focused and loves these types of things um, and events. And um, I think it's just grown from that, the love of community and the love of wanting to come together um, for special things like this. Well, that is very well said, and we echo everything you just mentioned because that's what makes this area so special to live, work, and play. Yes, for sure. Definitely. Well, check out the 15th annual South Carolina Strawberry Festival. As we mentioned, it's sort of underway now, and it kind of really gets underway almost every day as we get closer to the actual festival day, which is on Saturday, May the 4th. 